Welcome to Make It Happen with me, your host, Maggie. Today, we're talking about staying young, and not just at heart, but in the flesh. A few episodes ago, we talked about biological age and how to reduce it. And the information and tips in today's episode are going to help you to continue to dip into that fountain of youth. And this goes for anyone listening, no matter how old you are. So let's get into it. Think about your grandparents for a minute, or anyone that you know over the age of 70. Are they muscular and strong, or do they seem thin and fragile? Unless your grandma caught the workout bug sometime later in her adult life, she was most likely not the former. I know as I look around at the average adult over age 70, I don't typically see muscle tone and strength. And as a majority, and of course I am clearly lumping together an overarching majority, not everyone over the age of 70, but as a majority, it seems as though most are either thin and frail or overweight and also over fat as well. And I think this goes without saying, but this is not a recipe for feeling great. I am not making this observation in an attempt to knock anyone over age 70. Hear me out and know I have a point and a solution. This generation grew up in a completely different time than the modern day world that we live in now. They were active each day and didn't sit nearly as much as we do today. They ate smaller portions and definitely didn't have the amount of readily available packaged foods at their fingertips. As a whole, people in this generation didn't go to the gym or have defined exercise like we do today either. They may have played sports, but even athletes in their prime a few decades ago didn't train the same way that athletes do today. They played their sport, and unless their sport was weightlifting, they weren't spending a whole lot of time strength training. These are clearly my observations, but I think they're pretty accurate ones, and ones that motivated me to put this episode together for you. It's important to understand and recognize where we've come from and how we can move forward feeling the best we can year after year. We all want to live well with a good quality of life long into the future. And on a side note, if you're over 70 and are listening to this episode, not all is lost. Don't scamper away. Keep listening. Here are some actual real truths from years of research, not just my observations. As we get older, changes to our body composition tend to occur that can lead to accelerations in disability and decreases in both health span and lifespan. It's widely known, for example, that older people who suffer a broken bone are significantly more likely to die within a year after that fracture occurs. Pretty morbid. Aging is also strongly associated with obesity or excess body fat. People actually tend to both gain body fat as they age and simultaneously experience an increase in health-related conditions. This is not ideal. This is not what any of us want to experience as we get older year after year. We are living longer lives than past generations, but longer doesn't automatically mean better. Our quality of life is important. So if you want your quality of life to be great, you have to choose to do something about it. We can learn from past generations and current science to take positive action on how we are going to feel as we age. As we get older, particularly as we inch close to and past 50, research shows that not only does fat mass tend to increase, but we also begin to lose muscle mass at a quicker rate. Obesity is a major risk factor for chronic diseases like cardiovascular disease, osteoarthritis, and cancer, just to name a few. It's also known to accelerate inflammation and hinder the immune system. But even if we resist weight gain, the changes that occur naturally to our body composition as we get older, meaning losing muscle mass and increasing fat mass, does increase our risk for chronic disease. On the flip side to thinking about the quote average person over age 70, if you look at certain well-known figures like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Christy Brinkley, Sylvester Stallone, Harrison Ford, and Jane Fonda, you see the difference. While they may not feel like they did when they were age 20, they certainly don't feel like the quote average 70 year old. They have committed their lives to health, to eating in a way that fuels them well, and in staying active and strong. 
I'd also like to mention here that I personally have been extremely fortunate to have four grandparents who were exceptionally active and all lived or are living well into their 90s. Their weights were in check, but more importantly, they had or have muscle mass that has clearly aided in their ability to have a good quality of life. My grandma even had a quite serious fall a few years ago, so hard in fact that she needed seven stitches to her noggin, but didn't break a bone. And she's still sharp as ever and doing fabulous. I think it's pretty clear to say that muscle seems to be one of the most important factors when it comes to quality of life. Strong muscles not only allow you to walk around freely, but also help to keep you from falling and both protect you and help you get up if you do fall. It's also worth mentioning that exercise is highly associated with increased bone mineral density. Forget milk, lift weights. Half kidding. Strength is youth. Muscle is youth. If you can maintain and or build muscle as you age, you are setting yourself up for a much happier and healthier quality of life. Maintaining or increasing muscle mass, again, particularly as you age, is one thing that you have control over and it's also never too late. Strength training and adequate protein intake are necessary to both trigger protein synthesis and ensure fuel for adequate recovery as well. In a 2016 meta-analysis, adults over 50 who consumed higher protein diets defined as at least one gram per kilogram of body weight per day, maintained more lean mass and lost more fat while they also were restricting calories with the goal to lose weight. So even at a calorie deficit, which is needed to lose fat, they maintained muscle mass because they were consuming enough protein. I just said it's never too late, and I meant it. Whether you're young, whether you're old, you can start now. So what do we do? Strength train and eat protein. Strength training does not just mean lifting weights, although of course this is a super effective strategy to strengthen your body. You can also just use your body weight or something as simple as resistance bands. The idea behind resistance or strength training is that you're using resistance to strengthen your muscles. We break down the muscle when we work out and it grows back stronger as long as you're working hard, fueling well, and allowing time for recovery. When it comes to fueling, consuming enough protein both supports muscle growth and a humming metabolism. As we age, our metabolism naturally slows down simply because of a loss of muscle mass that comes along with aging, especially if we're not proactively fighting this process. You can keep your metabolism from naturally slowing substantially with age by strength training to build and maintain muscle and eating enough protein. And what's pretty cool is that protein is actually pretty thermogenic, meaning when you eat it, your body has to burn calories to digest it. This is true of everything we eat, of course, but the thing about protein is that it is much more thermogenic than both carbs and fat. This means that digesting protein burns more calories than digesting carbs or fat. And this is important whether you're on a weight loss journey or not, because metabolism is always important and protein helps to boost it. So there you have it, strength train and get enough protein to keep your muscles strong and help you stay young in the flesh. If you're not sure where to start, I think you know what I'd recommend. At just 15 minutes a pop, my workouts are a great place for you to either start or continue an awesome path to diligently adding resistance training to your routine. I have tons of workouts that don't require any equipment, but also options to lift weights or use resistance bands. So you are totally armed and dangerous to build muscle and feel young, no excuses. Not to mention specific weekly plans to follow, win, win. It doesn't matter where you are in your fitness journey or how old you are. You can incorporate resistance training and focus on getting enough protein to make a huge difference in your body composition and how you feel. So prioritize carving out time to care for your muscles and put a little extra focus on consuming enough protein and you are setting yourself up to feel young and strong long into the future. Go make it happen. Mm -hmm.